The UCI's rule book, how we'd all love to just rip it up and throw it away. Well, there is one rule which was recently introduced, and that was all about sock length. Let's ask the riders what they think about that, and also what the ideal sock length should be. <laughs> Try athletes, be careful. Yeah. You are a stylish man, I've got to say. Now the UCI has got a rule about the length of the socks. <laughs> What's the perfect sock length? Uh, now the, the question is the, um, the shoe cover, because also on the track the shoe cover is back, but uh, yeah, always at the limit. So the good tips is do a sign on your legs about uh, your half uh, yeah. uh, part of the, the legs and uh, yeah, put the socks at the limit. Maybe a, you, maybe a tattoo on the leg? Uh, probably a tattoo, but I'm not sure about how cool it is to have the tattoo there. <laughs> Are you a fan of people potentially looking like triathletes or footballers on the bike or not? <laughs> triathletes, be careful. Yeah, um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there is too long. There is too long. Actually, I have this um, one pair of socks. I, I, I use them quite a lot in the Giro, and they just got longer. They just stretched and stretched. No, they were too oh, long. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> um, and that was too long. Yeah, I think uh, it can be too long. That's, that's definitely. So I, I don't like to go above the UCI rule. This is the only UCI rule I like to respect. <laughs> so how long is too long? How long is too long? If it goes above your calf, it's too long. There we are. Nice and simple. I think uh, it's like. I think we look at it and think it's a it's a big rigmarole over something quite petty when you look at some of the other issues we face in cycling. Um, but I guess it has to be, uh, you know, we, know, cycling's it's this funny traditional. Like we have to still like bicycles still look like bicycles like they did back in the day. They're not they don't look like um, sort of your equivalent of going from a Toyota Corolla to a Formula One car, it's uh, the, you still have the sort of basic silhouette of a bicycle in there and, and they want to keep the cycling tradition alive. So I can see that, it just has to be, you can't have people rolling off the start line, pulling up their socks after going through the check and then podiuming at Worlds. Um, it's a bit, that sort of thing's quite brazen. Um, so maybe some leniency. I mean, it's quite the bike. The whole UCI check when it came, first came about was quite funny. Obviously, they've got a fancy old jig for it now, but you'd you'd kind of you'd measure. You know, we'd be out in the bus before measuring the distance between our ankle bone and our knee, and then you'd draw a little line two centimeters above where the midpoint is, and say to the commissaire, "That's yeah, I measured it myself. That's the line," and he'd be like, "Oh, okay, no, no you've done my job for me." Um, Obviously, I never did that, cause obviously. I, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, but all those, that's all gone and done now, because they've got that real fancy jig, which is it. So the only way around it is to just pull your socks up after the start ramp. What's the ideal sock length then? Is there is there one? Oh, um, just as, I mean, for aero, it's as high as possible. Um, for tan lines, it's ankle socks. For your day-to-day -day stuff. I'd, I'd say a, a, a centimetre gap below your, the bottom of your calf muscle and the top of your socks. There we are. Today, though, well, you've got a, a totally different look, haven't you? But you have got your own personalised sliders. Yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> jealous about those, actually. <laughs> um, there are definitely other things I worry about, so... If at the start line someone's coming over and pull my sock down, then fine. <laughs> so, seriously. I would love to see that, someone comes and pulls <laughs> yeah. your socks down. Yeah, no. Yeah, there's bigger things in the world to definitely, worry about. Definitely, definitely. Not, not only in the world, but even in cycling, we, could, we have different things to worry about. Uh, I'd say it's uh, secondary to a bunch of the rules they should be enforcing. <laughs> Good man. And uh, what's the ideal sock length for you? Uh, whatever they give me. I love this guy. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm absolutely clued up on it. I think it's allowed to be half, half way between your ankle and your top of your tibia. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, well, I think, yeah, I mean, if, to be honest, if you're having them halfway up, it doesn't look too good anyway. 
So probably optimum length for aesthetics is going to be a bit lower anyway. And then I got no idea if it's faster to have aerosols. Everything I've been told is it makes almost no difference. So, you know, if they have a rule that's saying it has to be halfway, I'd probably have a little bit less anyway, just to uh, not look silly. And what about today then? Are you rocking the perfect length, do you reckon? Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, these are pretty good. We've got our new defeat socks, so I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. And they could be a bit longer for me just because they've got quite long legs, but I wouldn't say you want too much higher than this. You're going to look tanned, aren't you? White, plain white socks like that here in Australia. Can't beat it. <laughs> going to look tanned. Not, yeah, I've just come. not seeing any real sun for about three months. So, uh, so far, I just burnt my hands. So, plenty of sun cream on. So, maybe in a two weeks' time when we leave, I'll have a tan. Yeah, I can't talk about burning. Look at the state of me. Yeah. <laughs> right, cut. <laughs> I haven't really thought about that. I mean, I guess in a way, it's probably better than everybody riding around with like tubes and stuff, you know, just like knee-high knee socks, which would technically be more aerodynamic as I understand it. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think that would be very nice when you go to the beach. It looks like horrible already as it is. Um, no, I, I do like sort of high socks and, you know, if it was just for the socks, I don't really care. But, you know, if people try to take an advantage and like, ride with that compression stuff and, you know, in a way, the rule is the rule and I don't, I don't really care too much. Okay. okay, is there an ideal sock length for you though? Um, well, it needs to be fairly long, not not like these ankle socks. I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, but uh, but yeah, sort of like you know, basically this this sort of height. I, yeah. I've got to I've got to sort it out properly. <laughs> but uh, that's kind of good. Yeah. I don't mind. It's just like just underneath the the, the calf. Yeah, I reckon that looks good. Well, I've got to say that. Well, he, he's, he, yeah. he stood next to me. Yeah, I've got yeah. To say I'll, that. I'll wait. I'll wait till I see the video. What you say afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm nice to you. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. It's, it's the other guys. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's all right. I know them too. I think first and foremost, there's probably other rules they could look into before they worry about sock length. But um, yeah, you know, for me, I'm kind of like a not too high, not too low, kind of middle ground kind of guy. Um, and yeah, if some guys want to go super high, some guys want to go super low, doesn't really bother me. They just don't look good. Now speaking about socks, so at the Olympics, were you one of the no sock brigade or not? Um, so funnily enough for the games, we actually ran, we went no socks for the whole year before the Olympics. Um, and then funnily enough, a lot of teams started also wearing no socks. And then when we got to the Olympics, then we brought out the Aero socks and they were still riding around with no socks. So it was a bit of a game to be honest. Um, but no, for the games, we all had Aero socks. Whoever thought socks could be such an interesting conversation? There we go, the pro's thoughts on sock length. Basically, it shouldn't be up to your knees and it shouldn't be at your ankles, somewhere just in between. And also, the UCI should worry about other rules instead of one about sock length. And I kind of agree on that. Let us know what your ideal sock length is down there in the comment section below. Should the UCI enforce this rule anymore? Get involved in that comment section. Don't forget to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. And now for two more absolutely cracking videos, click just down here and just down here. And I'm going to go and put some more sun cream on and uh, pull my socks up probably.